Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this particular tutorial, we are going to look at another question under statistics. Before we proceed, make sure you click on the subscribe button, like and share this video. Please don't just watch alone, share it to all other platforms that require video like this or that need videos like this. Okay, let's move forward to the question. Now, this was a question that was brought some time ago as a past question. I think that's 2019 or so. 2019, thereabout. Alright, here, we, here we'll be targeting the question 3B. Alright, it's a pie chart kind of question. If you want the solution to question 3A, there is a video on it. Okay, look at the right Look at the top right hand corner of your screen it is up there click on it to watch on it okay let's move to the question the pie chart shown represents monthly expenses of a teacher whose monthly income is 1800 ghana cities so we have the pie chart shown on the screen Okay, he spends his monthly income on utilities, food, savings, education, and of course, rent. Okay, let's look at the questions. What fraction of her income is spent on food and savings? And next, how much more does she spend on rent than education? Let's start with the solution to the first one. So we have our pie chart again drawn. The first question said that what fraction of her income is spent on food and savings? Okay. Before we do that, you realize that the angle for savings has not been given to you. Okay. So our first job is to ensure that we find the angle for savings. And remember, all these angles you see here are angles at a point. And what is the sum of angles at a point? You are right. Angles at a point sum up to 360 degrees. So it means that the angle for utilities plus the angles for food plus the angle for savings plus the angle for education plus the angle for rent should all sum up to 360. So let's look at the solution. So let's first of all let the angular measure for savings be x. Okay, so what would that mean? 50 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 120 degrees plus X. That is for savings will give us 360 degrees. Okay. Now, when you sum, when you sum 50 to 90 to 60 and of course to 120, what are you going to get? And now to do this, you pick your calculator and key in 50 plus 90 plus 60 plus 120 then press equal to what does that give you 320 okay 320 so what does that mean what it means is that we now have 320 plus x is equal to 360 now to find x what do we do we subtract 320 from both sides in other words we transpose 320 to the other side of the equal sign all right and that will imply that x is simply going to give us 360 degrees minus 320 and what does that give us this is very obvious this should give you 40 degrees okay and to simply do this with your calculator just key in already we had a previous answer all right on it so what do you do just type 360 minus answer and automatically the, cal the calculator will pick up the previous answer you had and of course when you subtract that gives you 40 degrees as you can see on the screen okay good let's proceed now um Therefore, we can see that the angle for savings is 40 degrees. Now, we have not still answered the question yet. 
They said what fraction of her income is spent on food and savings. So the total angular measurement, first of all, we have to find the total angular measurement for savings and of course, and then on food. And now what that mean? The total angle for food and savings is going to be 120 degrees plus 40 degrees and that will give us 160 degrees. So, to now find a fraction, we take 160 degrees over 360 degrees. Remember I told you that angles at a point sum up to 360 degrees. Okay, so to get a fraction, we simply write the angle for savings and food together out of the total angle, which is what, 360. Remember we said fraction is part of a whole. So that part of the whole, that is the total angular measurement at a point. Okay, that part of the whole, which is 160, out of the total part, which is what, 360. Okay, so when we reduce it further, okay, we are going to come up with the answer 4 over 9 or 4 ninths. And to do this on the calculator, press the fraction button you see here. Key on it. Then you type 160 over 360. Okay. And what does that give us? 4 over 9. That is why we had the answer here like that. Okay. Please, for those who have mathematics background, calculator will not be of any use. Probably can only speed up your work. But for those of you who have no mathematics background, it is advisable that you always have your calculator with you. Okay? It is going to help you also finish very fast and of course beat time as well. Let's look at another alternative method, alright, for solving this. Okay? So here, what we do is that we first of all find a fraction for food and that's going to be 120 degrees over 360 that means 120 out of the 360 which is the total angular measure at a point okay and that is going to simplify to of course for my brothers and sisters who do not have mathematics background you can also use 120 divided by 360 and that simply gives us one third or better still one over three so you see that our solution simplifies to one over three or simply put one third okay that is for food alone now let's go for the fraction for savings all right the fraction for savings remember we had it to be 40 degrees previously okay so the fraction for savings is also going to be 40 over 360 okay when you simplify again using your calculator all right 40 degrees divided by 360 degrees what will that give you that's going to give you one over 9 or 1 ninth okay so that simplifies to 1 over 9 okay that still hasn't answered the question because we are looking for the fraction that represents food and savings now that we have gotten the fraction for food and of course and the, and the fractions for savings what do we do we simply add the two of them okay so we can see that the sum of fractions for food and savings is simply going to be 1 over 3 plus 1 over 9 or in other words 1 third plus one ninth okay and for this if you know how to solve fractions you can go ahead and do it but to be quicker just go ahead pick your calculator up okay pick your calculator up and simply add one over nine okay let me delete that one over three first plus one over nine okay and that gives you four out of nine okay or four ninths so the solution to this problem is going to be four over nine okay the answers are just the same it's just that the methods are different but of course if you follow the right procedure you should be able to come up with the same answer now therefore the fraction of her income spent on food and savings is four over nine okay the fraction of her income spent on food and savings is simply four over nine Next solution. Now, how much more does she spend on rent than education? Okay. How much more does she spend on rent than education? Okay. Now, first, we find the angular difference between rent and education. We find the angular difference between rent and education. And what do we do? All right. 
the question was how much does she spend on rent and education so we can find the angular difference in other words we know that the amount she spent on rent outweighs the amount she spends on education okay so when we are we simply subtract 50 degrees from the 90 degrees that is what the angle for rent which is 90 degrees as you can see here this symbol here represents 90 degrees all right we subtract 50 degrees from the 90 degrees all right and that gives us 40 degrees so in other words if we use 40 degrees to actually calculate for the amount the amount that represents 40 degrees in the pie chart it is simply going to be the amount she spends more than the amount spent on education is understood okay so now the amount is simply going to be equal to use the formula fraction times the total amount so amount is simply equal to fraction times the total amount so the amount is going to be equal to what 40 degrees over 360 degrees times 1800 okay 40 degrees over 360 degrees times 1800 okay uh -huh. now let's go ahead and that is going to simplify to 200 Ghana cities now to do this on the calculator just come and key in come and key in um, 40 degrees over 360 degrees times okay always use this arrow to push the Keza all right to to be in line with the totality of the fraction then you now press the times key and of course then key in your 1800 now press the equal sign and that gives you 200 Ghana cities and that answers the question okay this approach is very short but there's, not, there's also another alternative you can use all right so let's come let me conclude on that first so we can see that therefore she spends 200 Ghana cities more on rent than education she spends 200 Ghana cities more on rent than education now let's move to the another alternative method all right now here here what we simply have to do is that we find the amount she actually spends on rent then again the amount she actually spends on education then we take the difference or we subtract uh, the amount on uh, education from the amount on rent okay so let's come first we find the amount for rent energy and of course education now amount is simply equal to fraction times the total amount this one you know already okay so now the amount for rent is simply going to be equal to 90 degrees over 360 degrees times 1800 okay and that simplifies to 450 Ghana cities all right and if you want this on the calculator let me repeat the same procedure all right so you key in here 90 oh let me delete that 90 over 360 degrees times 1800 and that equals of course 450 degrees as you can see on the screen okay now let's go further let's go further now the amount for education is simply going to be equal to 50 degrees over 360 degrees times 1800 okay so let's use calculator to do this all right already i think i have a previous um uh, calculations on the calculator already all right so i'm just going to edit the top there use the scroll keys or the um the, the arrow keys to edit okay so i'll simply change the 9 here to 5 we now have 50 over 360 times 100 1800 now press the equal sign what do you get 250 and of course 250 ghana cities that should be the amount okay so let's proceed further so when you simplify what do you get 250 ghana cities okay so let's look at the difference now okay now the difference in amount is simply going to be equal to the 450 ghana cities that is the amount for rent minus the amount for education which is what 250 ghana cities and what will that give us simple 200 ghana cities as in the previous solution so we can again conclude that she spends 200 ghana cities more on rent than what education thank you for your time and may god bless you for making time to go through this entire video stay tuned for more videos of this kind i'll be coming up with a series on essential skills okay so make sure you stay glued to this channel for more videos on ntc teachers licensure examination
Goodbye.